morning, Sir Lancelot. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Not late, I hope. Not at all, sir. Come along, my man. You must pursue me. You must pursue me. I suppose you've got another half dozen boring cholecystectomies today. Yes, sir. After last night, I feel like one myself. How about that gastrectomy I did yesterday? Not so well, sir. Oh, pity. Great pity. Morning, sister. Morning, Sir Lancelot. Everything ready? All ready, sir. Splendid. Now, you just lie still, old fellow. I'm just going to discuss your case with these uh, young doctors here. Take his pyjamas off, sister. You, examine his abdomen. Take that grubby fist away. The first rule of diagnosis, gentlemen, eyes first and most, hands next and least, and tongue not at all. Look! Have you looked? Yes, sir. See anything? No, sir. Very good. Carry on. Gently, man, gently. You're not making bread. Don't forget to be a successful surgeon. You need the eye of a hawk, the heart of a lion, and the hands of a lady. You found it? Yes, sir. Well, what is it? A lump. Well, what do you make of it? Is it kidney? Is it spleen? Is it liver? Is it dangerous? No, don't worry, my good man. You won't understand our medical talk. Uh, you, what are we going to do about it? Um, cut it out, man. Cut it out. And where shall we make the incision? Nothing like large enough. Keyhole surgery. Damnable. Couldn't see anything. Like this. Now, don't worry. This is nothing whatever to do with you. Now, you. When we've cut through the skin, what's the first substance we shall find? Uh, subcutaneous fat, sir. Quite right. And then we come across the surgeon's worst enemy, which is what? Speak up, man! Blood, you numbskull! You cut a patient, he bleeds until the processes of nature form a clot and stop it. This interval is known scientifically as the bleeding time. You, what's the bleeding time? Uh, ten past ten, sir. <laughs> 